Hey everybody, it has been a long time since I've done an unboxing, and the whys of that are because of the Young Scholars Program, and I'll tell you about that in another video. But today, it, an exciting box arrived that I just signed for, and it is from an old and dear friend. Her name is Lamar Van Dyke, and to tell you a little bit about Lamar, that was easy. Uh, when I was acutely and running back and forth to the Seattle, Portland area, none of this is well packed, uh, there were a number of women that I admired so much, not just for their skill, but for their out, proud, in-your-face presence. And Lamar Van Dyke was one of them. Uh, aside from the fact that she was a talented photographer, an incredibly talented painter, she was just always there with words of encouragement, uh, enjoying the very fact that she was a leather tank, oh good lord, and had been active in so many women's groups that I wanted to one, share her story. And when I started to ask her about it, uh, she was kind of like, well, I was just like everybody else. I'm not that special. And I tried to explain to her, yeah, you are. Now, I am eager to get into this box, but I'm also going to say that Lamar is on Facebook. And if you want to know about more of her story, more of her art, or more of some of these incredible things, Oh, wow. Um, this book, oh my stars, let me move this down here and I swear I'll reach into it, is full of some beautiful artwork. Uh, some of this I can hold up. Remember I had told you she was an artist. And some of this is her photography of memorable events and people in the Seattle and Portland area. Let me hold this one up. This one, I think you know, Judy Tolley by Lamar Van Dyke. Oh, uh, some of the early women's cookouts. God, I love this one. I had never seen this. Some of her artwork and artwork of her friends. In this case, she's celebrating the older woman. And I, I so relate to this because I have thought that I was on a one woman campaign to reclaim the word old because I think it's beautiful. I have no urge to be young again. I did all my stupidity in my youth. And now I get to sit back and enjoy both the fruits and the craziness of some of that. Now, some of the things Lamar has included just in this notebook are trips down memory lane for me. Dykes on bikes leading off pride parades in Seattle different events that she either participated in, photographed, or knowing Lamar, probably both. Pictures of the sluts from hell. And that is an incredible story in and of itself. Oh my. I've got to take this one out and show you and tell you a little bit of a story because you're stuck with me. These are a few pictures from an art show called Piercing Visions, a show that I remember so well because it was living art. And uh, some of the exhibits from there were just incredible. Good Lord, 1988, I am old. There is a video out or a video was made, I'm not sure how easily accessible it is, 
about some of the exhibits in that incredible art exhibit. Uh, the program, because Lamar photographed the first, let me do it this way, power search. And that is just the first notebook. Let me see what else is in here. Not only are these treasures, they're a walk down memory lane. Oh, she sent some calendars. Some incredible art pieces. The year that wasn't. More of Lamar's art, and I am so looking forward to going through some of these. If you want to know what she looks like, there's the artist herself. And another calendar of her art. This is this year's. So, of course, because this is this year's, I want to open up to any one piece just to show it. The abstract art. Now I'm looking at this one and loving it because it looks like streaks of passion and of blood. And that's my take on it. But let me see what else is in this box. Oh my. A, uh, another Xerox, and I am very grateful for these, of one of the shows done by the Sluts from Hell. We did a whole lot back in the day to raise money for the charities that needed us. Now, here's what I had never heard about. A cartoon called uh, The Van Dykes and Company, and Lamar's last name is Van Dyke. Uh, and evidently, there are more than a few issues of this. So this is going to go in its own special clamshell notebook of Lamar's work. And let's see what else is in this box. Other than some packing material. And thank goodness Lamar packs well. Now, you will notice that a lot of these are copies of originals. And for the library, that is so important and wonderful because I often tell people, I don't need to claim your original. Make a copy for us and we will happily have the copy on display in the library. Now, I'm looking at this because another photographer and another woman I so admired from the area, a woman named J.C. Collins, who is also an incredible photographer, took this picture of Lamar. And I remember when they took it. And I remember watching it being taken. A J.C. Collins image of the artist Lamar Van Dyke. Oh, and last but not least, Spanx, Sparks, I'm sorry, to host Seattle's first annual Leather Woman contest. Let me adjust my glasses, actually. I have no idea what the date one this is. It's talking about Seattle's first contest, and evidently Lamar and Aubrey Hart Sparks were producing it. Shades of my past and shades of the past of an amazing woman. As I said, Lamar is on Facebook. I am eager to get more and more pieces of Lamar's past so that I can share them here with you, put them in the library and happily display them as a history of not just a region because Seattle, Portland, those women were crazy in all the best ways. And the men, leathermen who were also leather gentlemen. For now, that's what I've got. A first package from Lamar Van Dyke. Lamar, thank you. I am eager to share this with lots of a new generation who doesn't know who you are, but will very soon. And
And until the next time we get a box to open, see you in the library.